Our topic for today is cost accounting. We will discuss the following under cost accounting. First is job costing. Second is process costing. Third is joint and byproduct costing. And number four is backflash costing. Okay, I have separate video for each of these. And just to recap, a manufacturing company has three types of inventory. Number one is raw materials. We can also call this direct materials. Second is work in process or WIP. And third is finished goods or FG. Okay, so WIP and FG are composed of raw materials, labor or direct labor, and overhead, OH. Okay, we call we call these three total manufacturing cost. All right, so for today, we will focus on job costing. And the best way to illustrate job costing is through journal entries. Okay, let's review the journal entries under job costing. First entry, syempre, bilhin muna tayo ng raw materials. Debit raw materials inventory, credit accounts payable. Okay, second is we put these materials into production. Debit work in process, credit raw materials inventory. Alright, so it's charged natin siya into WIP. Okay, third entry is, so if meron tayong materials, we also have the labor. Debit salaries expense, credit salaries payable. Okay, and then we also charge this to work in process. Debit work in process, credit salaries expense. Okay, so materials... We have the labor, overhead naman. Alright. Bigyan lang tayo ng examples of overhead. Let's say depreciation expense. Okay. What else? Let's say utilities expense. And let's say rent expense. Ang tatlo lang. Okay. Ano mga partner accounts yan? For depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, utilities expense, utilities payable. Okay, for rent expense, rent payable. Okay, so this is our entry. Ito yung actual overhead cost. Okay, so kailangan natin i-charge din yan into work in process. But for overhead, it's different. Kasi overhead, meron tayong tinatawag na actual costing and normal costing. For the actual cost, ganito gagawin natin. So, syempre, yung mga debits na yan, tatanggalin natin yan, lalagay natin into credit. Okay? I-close natin sila. Credit depreciation expense, credit utilities expense, credit rent expense. But instead of charging this to work in process, we charge this to OH control. So, this is a temporary account. Okay? Again, these are your actual overhead costs. Okay? So, this is the entry. And then, meron pa tayong isang entry. I-charge natin yung sa WIP, yung OH natin. Okay? Debit WIP. Yung credit natin is OH applied. Okay? Is there difference ng OH control na yan dito sa OH applied? For OH control, again, ito yung actual overhead cost. For OH applied naman, we use here the standard costing. Okay? Standard costing or we also call this normal costing. Okay? So, meron tayong tinatawag na predetermined overhead rate. Okay? Or the standard cost. Okay? So, basically, this is actual cost. This is standard cost. Gets? Okay. So, sa overhead lang applicable yan. Right? Okay. Now, at the end of the year, syempre, may different yung OH control to your OH applied. Right? Because this one again is actual. This one is standard. Kailangan natin i-close yan. Okay? Because, because OH applied sa credit, the debit natin siya. Debit OH applied. And then, credit OH control. Your difference, let's say, mas mataas yung OH applied. So, yung difference nandito, right? Lagi ko lang difference. Yung difference yung dalawa na yan, the accounting treatment, 
will depend if the difference is immaterial or material. Okay? If immaterial, we charge the difference to cost of goods sold. If the difference is material, we allocate the difference to work in process, finished goods, and cost of goods sold. Alright, gets? So that's the accounting treatment. Okay, so for job costing, usually ang tinatanong dyan, how much is the unit cost? How do you compute for the unit cost? So ganito yung formula pag tinanong sa'yo, how much is the unit cost? Unit cost is equal to, numerator mo is work in process over total units. Okay, ganyan lang yung formula. Sir, saan yung work in process na yan? O, diba meron tayong, sa materials natin, may whip tayo dyan, right? For the labor, meron din. For the overhead naman, ano yung whip natin? Well, it's the standard cost, right? Hindi yung actual cost. So, whip. So, you add the 3, you divide by the number of units, you get the unit cost for that particular job. Okay? Isa pa. Another thing that you have to remember for job costing, usually, ganito yung tinatanong sa job costing. How much is the cost of goods manufactured and the cost of goods sold? Ganito yung formula niyan. Okay? So, you have to know this. You have to memorize this by heart computation of the cost of goods sold. Okay. Direct materials used. Alright. Plus direct labor. Plus overhead. If you add the three, we call this the total manufacturing cost. Take note, used yan. Ha? Okay. Not purchased. Siyempre, yung mahalaga sa atin is the used materials. Okay. Plus whip beginning. Minus whip end. Whip end. We get here the cost of goods manufactured. Okay, cost of goods manufactured plus FG beginning minus FG end. We get here the cost of goods sold. All right. Usually, the question is how much is the cost of goods manufactured? How much is the cost of goods sold? What is the unit cost? All right. So that's job costing. Let's go to our problems for today. Okay, problem number one. Right, let's uh, first look at the questions. Okay, so meron tayong four questions here. Total manufacturing cost. Ano ulit yung total manufacturing cost? DM used plus labor plus overhead. Okay, cost of goods manufactured. Well, in our formula, if you remember, yung cost of goods manufactured is... Total manufacturing cost plus whip beginning minus whip end. We have cost of goods manufactured. And then cost of goods sold naman. Cost of goods manufactured plus FG beginning minus FG end. We get the cost of goods sold. Alright. And raw materials, August 31. Let's go to the given. The following data were taken from the record shop. Subscribe to Sir Brad Pitt Company. Alright. We have here August 31, 2020. And we have the September 30, 2020. Okay. So basically, it's yung beginning balance and this is your ending balance, right? Okay. Inventories. Raw materials, work in process, finished goods. Uy, may question mark. Okay. Actually, yun yung tanong sa atin, right? Ito yun, eh. Raw materials, August 31, or what is the beginning raw materials? Okay. Raw materials purchased. Oh, be careful. Purchased and not used. Amount to 46000 Factory overhead amount, amounts to 63,000, which is 75% of direct labor cost. So from there, we can compute the direct labor cost, right? So sabi daw yung factory overhead is 75% of direct labor cost. Okay, so gato na gagawin natin dyan. Okay, uh, 63,000, tama, 63,000 divided by 75%. We get 84,000. So, direct labor is 84,000. Alright. Selling and admin expenses amount to 25,000, which is 8% of sales. We can compute for sales. So, 25,000, we divide by... So, 25,000 divided by 8%, 0 0.08. We get here, 312,500. Okay, sales natin, 312,500. Net income for September 2020, 40,000. Okay. 
total manufacturing cost, cost of goods manufactured, cost of goods sold, beginning raw materials. Okay. Actually, ang gagawin mo dyan, i-apply mo lang yung formula na pinakita ko earlier. Okay? But, problem is, hindi natin makukuha yung direct materials used right away because hindi sa atin given yung beginning raw materials. Alright? Hmm, ano ka gagawin natin dito? Hmm, well, meron tayong net income. Okay, meron tayong sales. We have operating expenses. And so from there, tama ba, makukompute natin yung cost of goods sold. Right? Okay, so paano yun? So, we have the sales here. 312,500. Okay. Tama ba? Minus cost of goods sold minus OPEX. We have net income, right? Okay. And we know the given net income is 40,000. So, 40,000 here. And then OPEX, 25,000. Okay. So, ano dapat to para maging 40,000 yung net income natin? So, we'll compute. 312,500. Okay. Okay. 1 to 500 less 25,000 less 40,000 okay cost of goods sold is 247,500 does that make sense? okay cost of goods sold is 247,500 okay actually meron na tayong sagot for question number 3 247,500 alright as you can see class so to recall yung sub formula natin so lagi ako nagre-refer ah Ito agad yung compute natin, right? And then, pinapahanap din tayo ng raw materials beginning. So, it means, from cost of goods sold, mag-work back tayo to get the raw materials. So, ganun yung pinapagawa ng problem. Hindi siya mag-start from materials uh, to cost of goods sold. So, work back tayo from cost of goods sold to raw materials. Alright? Kaya dapat alam na alam yung formula na yan. Okay? Pero tuturuan ko kayo ng technique on how to prop easily use this formula. Okay? So, instead of memorizing that formula, Pag ang given sa US, beginning and ending balances of materials, whip, and finished goods, kagamit ka dyan ng T-accounts. Okay? Ito yung pinakamadaling way to compute for ayan, um, cost of goods or cost of goods manufactured. Alright? So, gamit tayo ng T-accounts for the inventories, raw materials, okay, work in process, and okay, T-account for finished goods. Alright. Now, since yung cost of goods sold yung na-compute natin, gamitin mo natin first yung T-account for finished goods. Because, di ba yung cost of goods sold decreases your finished goods? So, dapat dito yung cost of goods sold sa credit side. Right? Magdi-decrease ng finished goods. Alright. So, let's refer to the problem. Finished goods beginning 60,000. Ending 78,000. Lagay lang natin sa T-account natin yan. Beginning 60. Okay. And then, ending is 78,000. Okay. Let's solve for X. X is... Okay. So, ganito lang pag solve for X, ha? So, we add 78 plus 2, 4, 7, 500. And then, we deduct 60,000. We get here, 265, 500. Okay. 265, 500. Question is, ano yung 265, 500 niyan? Hmm... Okay, let's go back to the formula. Tama ba yung cost of goods sold after mo i-consider yung FG beginning and FG end? You get what? The cost of goods manufactured. Alright? So, 265,500 is actually your COGM or cost of goods manufactured. Gets? Oh, lalagay natin siya dito. Actually, yun pala yung answer natin for question number 2. So, 265,500. Alright. Okay. Next. Okay, so meron na tayong, okay na tayo sa finished goods. Let's go to the work in process. Work in process beginning, 80,000. Work in process end, 95,000. Lagyan natin siya, 80,000. And then, 95,000. Okay? And then, for the cost of goods manufactured, 265,500. Dito sa sa credit side. Alright? Kasi, iyan yung na-transfer from work in process to finished goods. Okay? So, yung cost of goods manufactured mo, nagbabawa siya ng work in process. We sold for X, okay, same lang as what we did for finished goods, 95,000 plus 265,500, okay, minus 80,000, you get 280,500, 280,500, okay, certainly yung 280,500, okay, 280,500, if you recall, 
from cost of goods manufactured, kinonsider natin yung whip beginning and whip end, we get the total manufacturing cost. Okay, 2,500 is our total manufacturing cost. Yan nung ba siya? Yes, yun yung question 1 pala. Okay? 280,500. Ayan. Isang problem na lang. Raw materials beginning. Okay, actually, this one, yung question mark, yung sasagutin natin. Okay. So, let's go to our raw materials T account. Again, question mark yan, right? Yan yung pinapakompute sa atin. And we have raw materials ending 50,000. Lagay natin dito. 50,000. And in the first bullet, raw materials purchased 46,000. Siyempre, it increases your raw materials debit side siya, right? 46,000. Hmm, ano pa yung kulang? Hmm, kailangan natin malaman how much yung used raw materials. Tama? Okay, so, paano natin malaman yan? Hmm, we know the total manufacturing cost of 280,500 is composed of what? Okay, di ba? Tama ba yung total manufacturing cost natin? It's direct materials used, direct labor and overhead. Okay, so from there, Gawin din natin is DM used DL and OH So tingnan natin ha From bullet number 2 OH natin is 63 Labor natin is 84,000 Okay, lagay natin dito Labor is 84,000 OH is 63,000 Right? Pag in yung tatlo Dapat maging 28,500 So from there Ito ang gagawin natin dyan 28,500 Less 84 Less OH is 63,000 Okay, we get 133,500 Alright, 133,500 Take note, yung 133,500 Yun yung DM used Tama? And used, ibig sabihin na charge natin siya into work in process So dapat magbabawas siya ng raw materials natin We put that on the credit side Gets uh, We solve for X X is So we add Okay, 50,000 Plus 133,500 less 46,000. Our beginning balance is 137,500. 137,500. Alright. So this is the answer for question number 4. As you can see, medyo madali ko lang siya sinod. It's because I know this formula. Okay. Kahit pinaikot niya ako from cost of goods. So instead na mag-start sa raw materials used papuntang cost of goods. So ginawa, ginawa niya. Cost of goods sold to raw materials Okay lang kasi kabisado ko yung formula And also, gumamit ako ng T-accounts that really help me To be efficient In answering this question Okay? So use T-accounts for materials WIP and FG Okay? So final answers are this Okay, amounts Okay, so that's Problem number one Let's go to problem Plus, if you appreciate this free accounting tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I have a new video. Number 2 Okay. Problem number 2 This time, meron tayong choices. Okay? Para at least mag-practice din kayo sa board type questions. Cost of goods sold at normal. Okay. Pag nakita nyo yung word na normal, ibig sabihin yan, standard costing yan, right? Normal costing. Okay? So, magko-cross-refer ako lagi dun sa ginamit natin uh, first part. Uh, okay. Yung normal costing is basically, ayan, meron tayong predetermined overhead rate. Okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi siya yung actual cost. Tama? When you say normal, yun yung standard cost natin. Okay. In the meantime, yun muna dapat yung isipin mo later. I'll, I'll explain to you paano natin siya i-apply. Alright? Let's go to the given. Okay? BSBA company uses job order costing. By the way, shout out to my students no? of UP BSBA Batch 2019. Greetings from your favorite prof. All the best. Kaya nga kaya yung board exam na yan. Easy. Okay, at the beginning of August, two jobs were in process. So, beginning of August, two jobs were in process. Tama ba? It means, yun dalawa na yan, job 769 and job 772, we call this week beginning, right? Okay. So, materials, labor, and overhead. Okay. So, two jobs. Tama ba? Pwede natin i-add yan. Okay. So, 80,000 para malaman natin how much yung week. Okay. 
Okay, D1040. Okay, kaya mo yan i-mental. Alaan nyo, ha? 80 plus 40 plus 60. This is 180,000. Okay. And then, job 772, 28,000 plus 12,000 plus 18,000. This is 58,000. Okay? So, add natin yan. 180 plus 58,000. This is 238,000. Okay. Next. There was no inventory of finished goods on August 1. No inventory of finished goods on August 1. Tama ba? Ibig sabihin yan, zero da yung FG beginning. Am I right? Okay. During the month of August, job 773, 74, 6, 8, and 9 were started. Materials requisitions for August totaled 520, labor 400, and actual overhead 640. Okay. So, add natin yung tatlo, ha? 520,000. Okay, so 520,000 plus 400 for the labor. Okay, plus 400,000. For overhead, 640,000 plus 640,000, we get here 1,560,000. Total materials, labor and overhead, 1,560,000. This is the total, okay? Pero take note class na nakalagay dyan, actual factory overhead. And in the question, sabi dyan, normal, okay? Nagay ko dito yung total actual manufacturing cost is 1,560,000, okay? Okay, and we know... Earlier na pag sinabing normal costing, standard cost dapat. Hindi siya actual cost. Okay? So, we have to find a way para malaman yung applied factory overhead. Okay? So, paano natin siya malalaman, sir? If you look at the first part, sabi dyan, labor and applied factory overhead. Hindi siya actual factory overhead. Alright? If the problem is silent, walang sinabi kasing overhead rate dito eh. Ang ya mo na lang is... The overhead is based on the direct labor cost. Okay? As you can see, 40 yung labor, 60 yung overhead. 12 yung labor, 18 yung overhead. Actually, pag dinivide mo yan, we'll get here 1.5. Okay? So, parang pag... Ito rin. So, 18,000 divided by 12,000. 18 divided by 12,000. Also get 1.5. It means, our applied factory overhead is 150% of our direct labor cost. Gets? Okay, so doon ka malitrick dito pag ginamit mo yung actual overhead. So be careful. Kailangan natin makompute ano yung total, over, total manufacturing cost. Assuming na ang gagamitin natin is for the overhead is 1.5 the direct labor cost. So paano gagawin doon? So 520 plus 400,000 plus, tama ba? Plus 1.5 times 400,000. Right? So 400,000 times 1.5 Tama ba? That's your applied factory overhead. So, lagi ko dito. Applied overhead is 600,000. 600,000. Ulitin ko, ha? So, yung 600,000, nakuha ko siya by multiplying 400,000 by 150% or 1.5. Sir, saan nga ba nakuha ulit yung 1.5? O, dito siya. Ginawa ko lang. Binase ko lang yung overhead or kinuha ko yung applied overhead from the direct labor cost. Okay? So, if we add 520 and 400 and 600, add natin. Okay, so, 520,000 for materials, for labor, 400,000, for overhead, 600. Okay, 1,520,000. 1,520,000, $1, we call this at normal cost or normal costing. Okay, ito yung relevant sa atin. Hindi yung 1,560,000. $1, okay, because the question is, cost of goods sold at normal. Alright? And take note din, class. Pagka sinabi lang sa problem, wala rin, wala ito. Nakalagay lang, the cost of goods sold is, ano yung assume mo? Is it at actual cost or is it at normal cost? So, remember this. Pag silent yung problem, you will answer this na is as if ang sinabi dyan is the cost of goods sold at normal. Okay? If silent, you assume normal costing. Alright? Okay. Let's continue. The only job still in process at the end of August is job 779 with cost of materials 56, labor 36. Ay, walang sinabing overhead, sir. Ah. Pag ganun ba, ibig sabihin, wala talagang overhead. No, we have to compute for the overhead. We know overhead is just 
1.5 times 36,000, right? So 36,000. 36,000 times 1.5, we get 54,000 overhead. Lagi ko dito. Overhead is 54,000. Tama ba if I add the 3? So materials, 56. Ito siya, 56. And then uh, labor, 36. Overhead, 54. So 36. We, we get, get 146,000. 146,000. Okay. Ano ba ito? The only job still in process at the end of August. Right? In process, tama, we call this work in process end. Alright? And then we also computed yung overhead kahit hindi siya minention in this, in this bullet. Alright? Okay. The only finished job on hand at end of August is a total cost of 80,000. So what do you call this 80,000? This is your FG and alright, it's 80,000. Okay? The cost of goods sold normal is... Hmm, paano natin siya iso sold? Okay, again, pag given ka ng beginning, may beginning and ending, you just use the accounts, right? For this one, gagamit ako ng 2T accounts. First is work in process, alright? And second is finished goods. Okay? Nung nakas sa work in process kasi na-compute naman natin siya earlier. Tama ba? 2, 3, 8,000 is your beginning work in process. 2, 3, 8,000. Okay? Ano yung makapag-increase ng work in process natin? Well, yung total manufacturing cost, right? From the third bullet. Okay? Is it the, actually, is it the normal? Again, it's the normal cost. Okay? 1, 5, 20,000. Okay? And then whip end. Sa yung whip end natin, sir. Second to the last bullet is 146,000 uh, 146, we sold for X. Ano ba yung credit side ng WIP na yan? Ano yung mabuhan natin? It's your cost of goods manufactured, right? Okay, so beginning is 238,000. 238 plus 1520,000. 1520,000. Less ending na 146 minus 146,000. We get 1612,000. Okay, 1612. Thousand. This is our cost of goods manufactured. But hindi naman yun yung question. The question is cost of goods sold, right? So we can compute the cost of goods sold from the FG layout. What is our beginning FG from the first bullet? Sabi dyan, no inventory of finished goods on August 1. So this is zero. Okay. And then ending FG from the last bullet, the only finished goods at the end of August, 80,000. Lagyan natin siya dito, 80,000. And... Yung cost of goods manufactured natin actually increases our finished goods. Lagyan natin siya sa debit side, 1,6, 1, 2,000. Cost of goods sold decreases your FG. So, sold for X. X is equal to 1, 6, 1, 2,000. Bipin natin. 1, 6, 1, 2,000. Less 80,000. We get here 1, 5, 3, 2,000. X is 1, 5, 3, 2,000. This is our final answer. Okay, letter B. Okay. So, obviously, magkakamali ka dito if nakalimutan mo na ang sabi dyan actual factory overhead. Okay? If the question is normal costing, again, we use the standard cost. We use a predetermined overhead rate. So, you have to find a way paano malaman yung predetermined overhead rate. In this case, na-compute natin is overhead is 150% of the direct labor. Okay? Final answer is letter B. 1532,000. Class, at the end of this free tutorial, patikim pa lang yan, what's the accounting treatment for spoiled units? For defective units with rework costs. What if yung spoiled and defective units attributable to the specific job? What if common to all jobs? What is the effect to the unit cost? Tuturo namin lahat yan. At pinakel, regardless of your accounting background, we will provide you with the most efficient and effective review by focusing on best review strategies, key points to remember, shortcuts, common tricks, and mistakes. For reservation and to know more about us, visit our website and Facebook page. All the links are in the description below. Reserve now because we only accept limited number of students in order to preserve the quality of our review. Class is missed. See you next meeting.